welcome back guys today we'll be continuing graph theory so today we'll be learning about Kruskal's algorithm of finding minimal or shortest spanning tree so to do this let me show you an example from example we'll do it so this is our graph so now to apply crucial methods first we'll make a list of all the edges and so self loop and parallel edges will not uh, parallel edges will self loop will not be counted so let me do that see this graph contains six vertices so six vertices and our shortest spanning tree must contain n minus one edges so this is important criteria so it must contain here it must contain five edges so let me make a list so I have made this a table so here the, all the edges are here and all, the edges are arranged in increasing order of their weights so we will make all the edges except the parallel loop, self loop so now we will select the smallest edge AB so we will make like this so how AB is AB is like this so AB so now we will select AD so AD is here AD since this all the single single steps are should be done in step wise you need to write in every step like step 1 should be AB step 2 should be AB and AD and now we will select BC so BC is straight so it will go so AD was here sorry so BC is here suppose now CD if you will join CD it will become a circuit so our spanning tree will not be accepted so now CD is cancelled now AF so AF can be drawn like this F yes now AE AE was here it was somewhere here AE now AE FE should not cannot be joined because it will make a circuit AC AC also cannot be done because it will make a circuit EB EB is also not possible ED is also not possible FD is also not possible so we have this is our spanning tree so now we will just write the weights of it 1 2 1 3 and 3 so the weight of this spanning tree will be 1 plus 2 plus 1 plus 3 plus 3 this will be 10 so this is the weight of the spanning tree and we can see one one edge two three four five edges so it has been verified so this was Kruskal's algorithm so thanks for watching it